Hey, what's up guys? So here we go. Here's the equipment needs for the backcountry off-season program. Now, although this is a gym-based program, you can absolutely do this program from home if you have the essential equipment needed to complete the program. First off, you will need some piece of cardio equipment. We love fan bikes for uh, the, the transfer of training to the sport of backcountry athletics. It's very hard to replicate uh, in the way that a fan bike does on any other piece of cardio equipment. Now, if you don't have a fan bike, that's okay. Uh, you can absolutely do this with a rower. Uh, with your mountain bike, either outside or on a spinner in your house or in your garage gym. Secondly, these continuous loop bands. A uh, continuous loop band just means that it's one loop. Uh, these are very important to the training. Uh, and you can pick these up all over the internet. Uh, I would recommend having varying sizes from a half inch up through an inch or more. Sliders, these are, uh, excuse me, furniture sliders, okay? I picked them up for about six bucks online. We have a ton of them here at the gym. They're super helpful to have at home. Mini bands, again, you can find these all over the place online. Have a couple different sizes and know that just, you know, they're a couple bucks a piece. They will break, so it's good to have a couple backups. Dumbbells and kettlebells. You don't have to have a, a full lineup of every different weight. Having some weights in the middle, maybe starting at 10 to 15 pounds and working your way up to 30 or 40 pounds, stronger individuals, maybe you're gonna have to have a few more on the heavier end. Could also do the same movements that we have in the program uh, for dumbbell work, could be done with kettlebells. This program actually does have movements that are more specific to one or the other, but you can get away with just having a set of kettlebells or a few different weights of kettlebells or dumbbells. Suspension trainers. Uh, you don't have to buy the, the top of the line uh, models that might cost you a couple hundred bucks. Uh, this is just one of the set. Uh, this one comes from, from Comcore. I'm not making any money from these guys, but these straps were about 40 bucks. I found them on Amazon. They're super rugged, and they're also not connected in the middle like some suspension trainers are. Uh, this allows for a lot of different movements uh, with single limb that maybe aren't as easy to set up with those suspension trainers that attach in the middle. A stability ball. Uh, don't have to have one, but it is helpful for some of the, the uh, work that we're going to do in terms of balance and, and working with the middle, with your core. Lastly, having a bench, as shown here, uh, preferably one that inclines. It's just gonna give you a few more options. Uh, you can use that bench for not just doing a bench press, bent over, or uh, your row type patterns, but also for our split squats, our step ups, our hip bridges, there's a lot of different things that you can use that same bench for. Uh, guys, this, this is kind of the, the bare bones necessities for the backcountry off-season program. We do also put in that program movements and options for movements that include barbells and plates. If you have access to them, great. You'll see where those movements come into the program. If you don't, that is not a deal breaker. You absolutely can still be successful with just what I have shown here. Good luck, guys.